Hi, Certified Arborist, World Champion Tree Climber Mark Chisholm here with your Steel Arborist Pro Tip. What we're going to talk about now is ascending a tree. We got our rope set and now I got to think about how I want to access the tree. Most trees that are this tall, I'm going to want to do single line. And what that means is I want to incorporate some safety measures. First and foremost, I want to be putting an anchor point on the base of the tree to climb off of. And one aspect of that would be to be able to be rescued from the ground. That's what we're going to use. What we're going to use is a friction saver that I've designed using a rated line and a friction hitch with a ring on it. We're just going to anchor it around the tree. Put the eye splice through the ring and that's going to be our anchor point. The friction hitch will allow us to have adjustability on a lot of different sized trees so it can't slip. I'm going to back it up with a half hitch. Put the half hitch in this little carabiner here for an extra safety measure so it can't slip off. Next element we need is our belay device. I chose a Petzl rig for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my access line, I'm going to insert it into the rig, close the shell, and then put it right on the eye splice. And that's our main anchor point for climbing. There's one more step into this, and that's backing this up. First and foremost, lock the handle down. Second, do something here. It means half hitch, figure eight knot, type of mule. Um, one other idea that's pretty nice is doing just a basic figure eight knot on here, where we can take that figure eight and lock it into the same carabiner. And now we got both parts captured and we're double tied and ready to roll. The only problem with a system like this is in really tall trees, sometimes you might need to rescue somebody. You'll come over to the tree, take your belay off like you're supposed to so you can start lowering them down and realize quickly you don't have enough rope to get them to the ground. And that's a problem with the, in a lot of areas of the country and elsewhere. So one way to get around that is, is there's two things you can do. Incorporate another rope or get another leg of rope, length of rope. Or if you only have one rope, here's a great little tip. This is one I like to incorporate all the time. And what it means is, I'm gonna take it back out of the device and I'm gonna take my ascending line and I'm gonna join these two ends of rope. And what that's gonna do for me is that's gonna create an endless loop that I'm climbing on. And what that means now is I can't run out of rope no matter how tall the tree is. I like to use some type of a bowline in this scenario where you anchor the back of the legs up because that way they untie very easily even after you load them. And that's kind of important. So I'm just gonna secure these. And then what, we, what you'll see is we've taken one length of rope that's just long enough to do our job. And then we've created a system that's lowerable from any height. So you don't run out of rope ever. It's impossible. So now we got our two legs joined together. The only other key component here is to make sure you put the knots in the right place and that's just above your lowering device or your belay device. So that way they can't get jammed up. So again, I'm gonna reinsert this into my belay system. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing where I anchor it off to the leg of the rope here on the eye splice. We're gonna pull some slack in, make sure we got it set up properly. Drop the handle to lock it in position. And then we're gonna do our quick little backup. Again, I'm just gonna tie a figure eight knot on here. And then we're gonna lock it into the carabiner so it can't come out unintentionally and we're ready to rock. Now this system, as you can see, we don't have a lot of spare rope, but you'll never run out of rope. And that means it's a safer way to climb.